G'day guys, Ralph here and welcome to another fireside experiment. That's right, as always, be safe, have a bunch of stuff around like fire blankets, buckets of water, hoses, fire extinguishers and all that gear. Be sensible, don't rush, take your time, enjoy it, be safe most of all. But here's what I'm going to do today, I'm going to put you a bit closer to the action with my Osmo Action. So we're going to film it real close and just do a number of things with some fire and see if we can get some epic shots as a result so i hope you enjoy the footage and as you're watching just subscribe below give us a thumbs up share some love if you've got any other ideas of stuff i can set fire to do and take a photo of come on bring it on put it in the comments below and let's go
So what did you think of that? Gosh, I was stoked with some of those photos. I mean, wow, which was your favorite? Put it in the comments below. Did you like this? Uh, what did you think about it? Any other ideas? Uh, I'd love to hear what they are. This sort of photography I find stretches my creativity to, to think about it and then to execute with the skills that are developed. Uh, it's just this, this culmination of, of all the things that you bring to the table to create these beautiful results. And so that's why I do these things and a number of other things. Uh, and fire especially because it, it's hard to be tamed, it's wild. And, and there is there is a connection with that. There is something wild that that how do you capture something that is wild whilst it still remains free, and that's the beauty of photography. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've um, just been enlightened. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next uh, video I'll, I've done one of these before so I'll put that in the coming up next so you can really enjoy that and if you're new here please subscribe below give me the thumbs up really appreciate that and we'll see you in the next video bye